I went out last night. In Sydney. So safe to say I'm not really feeling my absolute best here on this Sunday evening. I'm a little bit tired, but the show must go on. I've flown in and I'm feeling pretty good about things for this What's Sold episode. You've got a stack of great items. Let's get into the show. Yes, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. This is the Sunday show where I take you through nine of my very best hold sales items on eBay and on Facebook Marketplace. I have just flown in. I've had a really good long weekend, uh, a four day trip actually to Sydney to catch up with my, one of my really good mates, uh, Sam. And uh, I'll be putting out a video on Tuesday to document that little trip that I went on, but it was a lot of fun. I did go thrifting and I won't tell you just yet what took place. Hang out for that video on Tuesday. Um, hope you're doing well. Hope you had a really good week. I'm looking forward to diving into these items. I've checked Jerry picked on the plane home a couple of absolute bangers for you. So hopefully you can get some value out of it, guys. These videos are designed to try and help you learn a thing or two about how to go about the game of reselling on eBay and on Facebook Marketplace. If you get any value out of it, I encourage you to smash that like button for me because it's a huge way to support the channel. And I just cannot thank you enough for doing so. Let's dive into the first item. I've got an RM Williams sweater here that I picked up for 20 bucks and I sold it for some pretty good money. Let's get into it. Righto guys, yeah, so the first item, this RM Williams sweater, I picked it up for 20 bucks as I touched on, and it did end up going on to sell in the space of 17 days, so a relatively fast sales cycle here, for $70. I thought this was a really good one. I knew when I saw it that it was gonna go on to sell well, I say that a lot, and it's because I use the eBay sold comp searches. I do the search, I see what the resale value is, and then I immediately know if there's enough profit to be worth the purchase. There certainly was with this one, takeout fees and postage, I've profited $33.34. So with a single item of clothing, if you're getting anywhere sort of 30 up, it's definitely worth your time. So I was really happy with that. The RM Williams brand, if you're new to reselling, this is a great Australian brand. You may be able to find it overseas. Let me know if you have found it overseas in your part of the world. But yeah, $33 for me, whenever I find that brand, I will pick it up pretty much in any make, whether it be shoes or clothing, it's always worth getting your hands on. Another really cool clothing item here, guys, as well. This was a 1996 vintage Ferrari t-shirt. Now, this one was a really cool one. And also for the fact that it did go on to sell internationally to somebody in the United States. Uh, San Antonio, I believe it's where it's heading. Um, now, I've paid just $4 for it. I found it in the thrift store. It's a genuine vintage 1996 authentic Ferrari t-shirt. Uh, and with the postage included, this one has sold for $77.49 for a single t-shirt. Just crazy numbers. Uh, the postage on this one, $18 to get it across to San Antonio. And the fees are gonna be about $10.07. So look guys, I'm gonna profit $45.40 two cents on this t-shirt. So look, there's a lot of money in clothing. I will say this one did have a sales cycle of 171 days. So it did take quite a while to sell, but hey, it sold and that's all that matters. So I was really happy to sort of stick it out for a relatively high price on this one. I think I had a price at around about the $50 mark for quite a while and um, sort of stuck through with it. And I'm glad that I did because I got top dollar. And then international postage with the shipping and the handling costs in there, you actually always save a little bit on the Australia Post My Business Plan. I'm really enjoying the fact that I've turned on international postage and this is an exact reason as to why. Guys, I really need to start doing a whole lot more garage sale videos. Let me know in the comments below, do you wanna see me do a garage sale video? I think I might go out next Saturday and shoot one for you guys. Now, I picked this one up, this was a Nerf gun. Um, I paid $5 for it in my previous garage sale video um, a couple of months ago now. It's been quite a while, sales cycle on this, 157 days, guys. But I'm putting it into the video because I still believe they are a really good item to pick up. The big Nerf guns as opposed to the small ones are a good one to find. Um, these ones I think are more so better for Facebook Marketplace. I didn't actually have this one up on Marketplace at any point in time, and I've probably done myself a bit of an injustice there. I, sh I should have done it. I should have put it on Marketplace. But anyway, eBay, $15.35 is the shipping, and uh, the fees of $6.49. I'm profiting $23.15. Not a huge number, but a cool little item out of garage sale, and I still want to pick them up around that $5 price point, and then try and turn them into about 30 to 40 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. I think that's generally the best way to go with these ones. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of comments as well. Matt, how do you go about posting something as awful and ugly of a shape as this? And the way I do it is I actually butcher paper it up so no one can see what the item is and then I bubble wrap the hell out of it. And that just goes to do a really good job because no one knows what it is and it's still protected with that bubble wrap. So no boxes required with this one. It's just, yeah, butcher's paper, bubble wrap, get it out the door. Happy to make 23 on this one. Right, and we've got the, uh, the Powderfinger, the Powderfinger DVDs. I've found three of these. 
and this would this is 140 there's a lot of long sales cycles in this one but believe me they are still good items to get your hands on 146 days worth of sales cycle for this but this powder finger dvd set um i paid five dollars each i paid 15 dollars for this this is definitely back in my earlier days um the postage on this was 756 to send out uh, the fees of six dollars and 49 cents guys it sold for 49.99 and when you take out everything it's a 20 dollar and 94 cent profit so look some some music dvds the old school Powderfinger uh, DVDs. I've gone on to make me 20 bucks. So not a bad little profit there. I really do think that these sort of DVDs, though, you can actually be finding for around a dollar each. And in, in that sense, you'd actually be making about $33 profit if you could sell them for $49.99 like I have here. So thought I'd put it into the episode. Not a huge profit for me, but if you can find them at a cheaper price, that'll be more money in your pocket. Who loves the TV show The Sopranos? Well, I found The Sopranos seasons one to four in the op shop. I paid $7 for the four of them and they've gone on and sold internationally again to the United States for $57.00. And 95 cents. So when you take out the postage, which I'm accrediting $24 to, I do need to actually still go and do that. It may be a little bit less with my my post discount, but I'm putting it in there for $24 postage to begin with. Uh, the fees of $7.53. Guys, this is again, another $20 profit on some DVDs. Um, awesome money to be made in the DVD category. I, I truly believe in it. I buy a lot of DVDs around that $1 to $2 price point. And if you can bundle them up just like this with the Sopranos, you can go on to make yourself 20 bucks in quick profit. Um, sold within the space of a, a little under two months which isn't the end of the world. Um, look, I really love selling DVDs. They're a very easy item to ship. And even people over in the United States are happy to pay $30 for postage to get their hands on them. Something I wanna document a little bit more on this channel and especially in these what Sold videos are just my bread and butter items, my staple items that I'll always go to. They're not massive breadwinners in the sense of money, but um, they just you know stand the test of time from a sense of resale value. They always go on to sell. Um, this was one of them, the Nautica. I, I love the brand Nautica. Nautica Blue Vertical Stripe. Uh, polo, uh, sorry, business shirt. Um, this one has gone on to sell. I picked it up for four bucks uh, in a local op shop, which is very common. It's the reason why I buy these because you get them around that four or five dollar price point um, pretty pretty often. Um, this one sold for thirty four dollars and ninety seven cents, which to be fair, I normally price them at about twenty eight ninety five. So I don't actually know what I was doing there with thirty four ninety seven, testing my luck, I think. But it certainly paid off. Sixty three day sales cycle, postage of seven fifty six. The fees were only four dollars fifty four, which isn't too bad, and I profited eighteen dollars and 87 cents now guys i talk about this all the time when you're selling clothing if you can make 20 bucks on a single item happy days and that's exactly what i've done here look out for the nordica brand look out for your business shirts they are a truly bread and butter winner and you'll get some really good resale value money when you go to sell it on ebay boy oh boy guys this is one of my better ones for sure this week i managed to find a vcr in an op shop actually in a trip to the thrift episode so go and find that one if you can and have a bit of a watch now i paid 40 dollars for it i did pay up a little bit but again i've had a look at the comps in the store and i've realized that that these go on to sell for about 150 bucks. Really good news for me, it did come with the remote. And I think that's a crucial thing when you're buying in the thrift stores. You wanna make sure they've got the remote and if they've got the manual, even better. This one didn't have the manual, but I knew with the remote and just the VCR on its own that I would still get pretty much top dollar. I took an offer, $139. Really happy to get the result, 15.35 in postage, not too bad from a shipping sense. And the fees were $18.07. So guys, $65 on some hardware goods in a VCR player, uh, a 20 day sales cycle. So only in the space of three weeks, I've been able to collect 65 in profit. So very, very happy with this one. Don't be afraid to pay a little bit more in the thrift if you know you can go on to get some resale value. Um, $40, quite a big spend in the thrift, but it has certainly paid off with this one. Guys, I had a week off last week without a van. I still don't have a van, to be honest with you, but it just put me off buying furniture. I've got the use of my, my old man's uh, van, so I have still got access to buy furniture. And there was this item here. It was a white buffet table that I was able to pick up. It actually had a side table, as you can see by the photos as well. I did try to sell them as a bulk package for $225. I picked this up for 70 bucks, and I really love these ones because they're white and they are timber. So that sort of white timber look, um, very, very popular in my area. So if I can find these for under the sort of 60 to 70 dollar price point i'll definitely pick them up um, it had a little bit of water damage as well on this one so it wasn't in perfect condition i did have to highlight that in the ad but this has gone on to sell just the buffet table itself for 150 dollars came and picked it up too so i didn't have to go and deliver it um, pro, uh, profit of 80 dollars. there was no fees obviously being facebook marketplace and this one sold in the space of six days guys you guys know this if you're watching this channel you're watching these videos on a weekly basis furniture such a fast moving sales cycle um, so to pocket 80 bucks i've 
still got a side table as well. This will end up being over $100 in profit. No doubt about it, guys. My most favorite item to resell on eBay is shoes. I absolutely love my shoes. You see them in my What Sold videos and you also see them in my trip to the thrifts when I pick them up for a very cheap price. I have found probably the best of the bunch out of the probably 10 pairs of shoes that I've been able to sell this week. These were the Nike Metcon 3s. Uh, I've paid $9 for them. My average sort of purchase price for shoes, I'm very lucky here on the Gold Coast. I generally buy them for around the five to six dollar price point. I did pay nine dollars for these. And when you ask me what's the most you'll pay for a pair of shoes, I'd probably say 12. 12 would probably be my number. Let me know what your number is. What's the most you would pay for a pair of shoes? $65, guys. They sold for 65 bucks. The postage was $7.56. The fees were $8.45. And Matt's profited 40 bucks on this one. So I was really stoked with that. 14-day sales cycle, a very fast moving item. And uh, like I said, I've sold another 10 pairs of shoes this week. Generally around the $30 price point is how I like to sell my shoes. One, because I think it's a good resale value in the sense of profit. But two, because they actually sell. The last thing you want is to have shoes just sitting in the cupboard not selling because you've got them priced too high. I generally find my sweet spot is to try and buy them for five or six and then sell them for around 50 to 60. And uh, it works every time. I get the sales come through pretty regularly. So happy with this one. So they were my nine best sold sales items of the week, guys. Hopefully you got some value out of those. Try to sort of pick out a couple of different ones in amongst the, the usual items that I go on to sell on a weekly basis for you. Uh, let's dive into our featured reseller of the week now. This week we have a rebranded Regal reseller. Used to go by Master Money Movement on Instagram. Here's his page. Go and check him out. Hit the follow button on his profile. He's putting out a heap of really good reselling content and he's into his Funko Pops, which is where my reselling journey began actually selling Funko Pops myself. Today I don't have one of his Funko Pops that he sold. I actually have a DVD series and I really like this one because he's told me that he's ended up selling it through international postage. The, the I'll show you what it is first. It was Scrub the complete series. So the reason why he went international postage on this one was because it was a, a region one, so USA um, compatible um, DVD series. So in the sense of the resale value in Australia, it was gonna be quite limited. He's opened it up after letting it sit on eBay for quite some time without international postage availability. He's opened that up and it's gone ahead and sold for $120 plus postage um, over there to the US. So a very, very smart move by opening up the international postage. It's something that I'm doing a hell of a lot more now on my eBay store. So I'm very, very happy to see results like this come through because that is the power of selling through International Post. Uh, paid $10 for it as well. So he's profited over hundred bucks, I dare say, on this one when you take it all out at the end of the day. So go and give him a follow. He's putting out a heap of good reselling content. Regal reseller on Instagram. Used to be called Master Money Movement if you've seen him in the previous, uh, in the previous months. So well done, mate. You are our featured reseller of the week. All right, guys, now let's have a look at my weekly numbers. Now, I will just uh, quickly mention that I've been away for the last four days in Sydney, and I certainly wasn't focusing on my reselling while I was over there. So I was very curious to see if I actually have stepped away for the very first time, would that affect my sales in any way? And if we pull the table up, you will see that it actually hasn't affected my sales numbers at all. Um, I've been doing the relist strategy while I've been over there, but um, that's literally been it, just um, touching up uh, listings, but not, not, not putting anything new into it. Um, guys, I've sold 48 items this week which is pretty much an average. If I can hit around the 50 mark, I'm, I'm generally pretty happy. Total revenue, $2,105.53. If I'm hitting over 2,000, I'm happy because I wanna be doing 100,000 a year and that 2,100 is certainly putting me on track for that. Uh, inventory spend, so I've put that in there because inventory spend refers to what did I buy this week? What was the money that came out? That was $315.50. The fees for eBay, $251.03. My postage cost worked out to 318. And I net cash flowed positive $1,220.50. That is the figure that I will deduct some tax out of. So guys, really pumped, really excited to see $1,220 in profit when I was literally drinking beers for four days in Sydney with a mate. So fantastic numbers, um, really, really happy with it. Uh, just, I guess, the large volume of items in my store allowed sales to sort of keep trickling through over a few days while I was away. Um, it's really encouraged me to actually now try and take some regular time off, uh, weekends, for instance. So I'm working every day at the moment. And this was a really hard step to actually step away uh, and take a day off, um, let alone four days off. I, I really did battle with it initially. But then when I saw the sales continue to trickle in, I really do think now that I can work Monday to Friday, have the weekend off and just get this episode done on a Sunday for you guys. Um, so that's probably the way I'm gonna tackle it. But um, yeah, we'll see how we go. But really happy with that guys, $1,220. Um, 
Let me know in the comments, what was your best sold sales item of the week? Put it into the comments, love to read it. And it gives me ideas for myself. So I do thank you very much for that. Hit the like button if you've got anything out of it today. It's a huge way to support the channel. Um, like I said, I'll be doing a video on uh, Tuesday. I'm gonna be editing over the next couple of days. I really wanna try and put a cool video together of the Sydney uh, trip that I was just on. So I'll try and put you something uh, something to you on Tuesday regarding that. Um, but until then, guys, I do appreciate you tuning in this one. I look forward to seeing you in the next. We'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.